So we're here for the second phase of this stone deck installation system, getting ready to install a truss bed system here by GFTK. James, tell us a little bit about what the truss bed system is. Um, is it uh, common in the US? Uh, this is kind of unique to me. It's very interesting and I'm really excited to, to tell our viewers a little bit about it. Well, first of all, this is, uh, this is a new application for this system. Uh, I'll, we'll just say that. It's, it's probably the first time it's being done this way. Okay. Typically, this system gets used on a hardscape masonry project where they mm -hmm. have, you know, they install six to eight inches of stone and mm -hmm. then this system on top. I decided to use this stone, this system here because I wanted a medium between my stone and the stone deck system that actually binds up the, that binds up the stone and makes more of a solid system for the stone to rest I, on. I can see that. And it, it also yeah. gives, it also gives me a, uh, a bit more of a cushion that I can, you know, take out some of the imperfections of the stone. So, you know, the team just put some down here. It looks very uh, thick. Uh, what is the ingredient of this? Tell, tell me a little bit about it. What, what is all, what all, what's all in this? Does it get, is it going to get hard like cement? Well, I'm no chemist, but yes, it's a lot like concrete in the fact that it will get hard okay. like cement. Uh, one of the neat things about this particular product is that it's permeable. What does permeability mean? Permeability simply means it will allow the water to pass through. Regular concrete gets hard and does not allow water to penetrate through. Okay. So that's one of the nice things about this. It will not hold water. Water's your enemy in cases like this. Okay. The water will pass right through here and drop out the bottom if any water gets through my stone and my, my joint. And so that's why I wanted to use something that'll allow the water to pass through. It doesn't trap water, but it uh, but still it binds up like a concrete. So this is a new application, um, you know, that, that is currently uh, available now in the U.S. Um, and I know Satters, we're, we're now, you know, uh, beginning to educate our contractors and, and our homeowners about this, this type of application. Um, a little bit, I, I am familiar, it did come from, from German technology. What, what exactly, if, if we were not to be using that uh, on this system, what other types of, of products would be used uh, in, a, in a stone installation if you, we did not, did not have access to a truss bed system? Well, like I said, this is making this possible for me. I didn't really have a product that I could use like this before. Okay. The other options would have been to uh, lay it directly on top of the grate, okay. but it wouldn't have locked it up like this is going to lock it up. Uh, there's some guys that use a, a little bit of sand or rice stone and lay it in, but I wasn't quite uh, happy with that either because I wanted to actually lock it in to have it bound together, which the Elutrient system that you'll see in a little bit that we back butter these stone with is what locks it into Okay. This. Yeah, no, I'm and, looking forward to and that And again, process. with the concrete products that I know of in the marketplace here in the U.S., uh, I don't know of any that would have done quite what we're doing here. How do you get the, the consistency in the product? Is this mixed with water? Um, what, what exactly gets it to this consistency? Do you have to put it through a mixer or do you mix it in a wheelbarrow? Or, or Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, well that. this is, uh, we, we have a regular concrete mixer here. Oh yeah, I do see that over there. So all we're doing is mixing the, the uh, mixture. <laughs> I want to call it mortar, but I know it's not mortar with number nine rice stone. So it's about a six, well you can do, depending on the strength that you're looking for, in this case I'm going six parts of stone to one part of the, uh, okay. the truss bed system. And it's about four gallon of water that goes to one bag of that. And yeah, mix it up for three to five minutes and you get this uh, concrete-like product. How long does it take for it to set up before you can actually start laying you have stone on it? You have several hours, okay. although when it's really dry like this, you, 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 know, you want to stay on it. What's the cost of a, of, a, of a system like this versus um, other kind of more conventional technology that would be used um, in, in the U.S.? Well, that's a, a tricky question because you've got to factor in, you know, time factors uh -huh. and, and all kinds of other installation methods that will cost you money. So, again, it depends a lot on what you're doing. Got it. In this case here, uh, you're probably looking about five to seven dollars per square foot. Okay. For this system. So as we kind of wrap up this section of the of the installation, what would you say 
you know, the top three advantages for you as a homeowner, homeowner putting this in, um, and especially out there for you contractors that are interacting with your homeowners. Tell me a little bit of what you think probably the top three advantages of, of, of a trash bed system, whether in this application or in a regular hardscape uh, project would be. Yeah, well I would say in this case a lot of it has to do with installation uh -huh. and what it makes possible for me. So what this is making possible is a, a beautiful stone finish, four foot off the ground like okay. I said before, that nice I finish. before I would have had to have a completely different method of putting in. So uh, if I would have built, you know, stone foundations all the way up and filled everything in and done the traditional Very concrete, labor intensive. So yes. uh, obviously that's an advantage, um, less labor and a, and a solid construction. And then, a, you know, just to highlight again, what you said about the ability for permeability. Yeah. Great. Earlier today, we did part one, which was the mortar, uh, the VDW 480. And uh, you can see here the mortar and stone that is being put together and screeded out. And now you can see here we have the 495 Elutriant, which is essentially buttering the backs of the Marmiro stone. What happens is once that uh, Elutriant is applied to the, to the backside of the Marmiro stone, then it will be set on top of the trash bed system to secure it so that it will no longer move uh, before it is then jointed together.